What's up, Passive Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a full body strength training workout. Today's routine requires dumbbells, and you're gonna need several weights available to you so that you can switch up the weight depending on the movement. You may also want to have a bench, box, or a step nearby for a few of the exercises, but it's not required. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get it moving. Let's begin today's routine with a warm up. The first one is going to be a deep squat stretch. So, as the name implies, we are going to get into a deep squat. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to sit back, weight in our hips, driving through our midfoot, and we're going to come down as deep as you can without coming forward onto your toes or falling back onto your heels. And really just feel yourself settling back down, going as far as you can. And maybe you're more flexible or less flexible than we are. Just do the best you can to really get down into a deep squat. And we're gonna feel that stretch here. This deep squatting position is such a primal position. Something that's really important that we maintain as we age. Great for really knee strength, hip strength, ankle mobility. Mm -hmm. And in our modern society, it's something we've come so far away from that exactly. it just, we have a hard time. We're sitting down in couches and chairs and lying down in bed. <laughs> Let's hold on to this one here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come back on up nice and slowly. Ooh. All right, and you only get better with that one with time, I for promise. Sure. Next, we're gonna do a wide straddle rotation. So let's get our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart and have our hands out at our sides. Let's hinge at our hips and then with my left hand, I'm gonna rotate and try to reach the floor as my right arm reaches up to the ceiling, back to the middle. Now rotate to the left, keeping a slight bend in our knees throughout. If you can touch the floor, great. If you can't quite reach the floor, then you reach down as far as you can. That rotation is what we're really after here. Great one to loosen up our hamstrings, hips, lower back and mid back, even a little shoulder and chest here. Back and forth, dynamic warm up exercise. For five, four, three, two, one, come back up. All right, next we're gonna move into a bird dog. We're gonna go down to all fours in a quadruped position on our hands and knees. This is for our posterior chain, our backside. I'm going to take my right hand, bring it to my left knee, and then extend back down to the floor. Left hand to right knee, and then extend. Left straight arm up, right heel presses straight back. So we're alternating each side. On that leg, we're driving that heel back straight, not bringing it up. It's not a lift, but you're driving it back like you're trying to get it through that wall behind you and that arm comes straight up squeezing and contracting your traps it's that upper back muscle up at the top great for our like I said our whole posterior chain hamstrings glutes lower back great to warm up that lower back for five four three two one and zero all right, we have one more from the floor here. We're gonna transition into a prone position. That's lying down on our front side with our arms extended in front of us. It is a prone lift and pullback. So we're gonna start with the lift. You're gonna bring your chest up off the floor, pull the elbows back, extend arms straight forward, back down. Upper so we're body just up. lifting our upper body, correct? Correct, just All your right. upper body on this one. Focus on the upper body here. 
pulling back from those elbows and then relaxing in between every rep. Great one to warm up our rotator cuffs, shoulders, back, even chest. Great mobility move for our shoulders as well as you take them through that full range of motion. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Body's feeling loose and ready to go. Claudia, you ready for this? I'm ready to pump some iron. Yes. As we would say back Let's in the 90s and 80s. <laughs> I like it. Showing I like it. All right. We're going to get started with a superset. So we're going to alternate two exercises, complementary exercises. You'll see that we're complementary muscle groups. First one is going to be for our back or upper back is a dumbbell bent over row and twist. Mm -hmm. So we need two heavier dumbbells for this one. So heavy is a relative term. For sure and, it is. And that's going to be different for everybody. So we're going to count repetitions on this one. It's going to be 12, <clears throat> excuse me, 12 repetitions in total. We're going to bend over at a 45 degree angle. Start with our palms facing forward. As we row, we're gonna twist so our palms are facing in, squeeze our back at the top, and return back down for 12 repetitions. Ready? Yep. And begin. So pull back from those elbows, that's the key. Don't pull back from your hands, but let those elbows lead the way. This one's working our lats. So a big mu uh, back muscle underneath your arms as well as some rhomboids, biceps, forearms, and even getting some lower back and leg work just to maintain this position. Here's number nine, you got three more. And for our breathing, I want you to inhale as the dumbbells go down and exhale as you pull them up. Last one right here. And 12. All right, we're gonna move on to a lower body move. Now, depending on your strength levels, maybe you keep that same weight, maybe you go a little bit heavier, lighter, or if you're Claudia. Then you're just gonna use your body weight for this. So I'm gonna go slightly lower on this one, not by much, and we're gonna move into a reverse lunge, but the kicker on this one is it has a isometric hold at the bottom. So Everyone's we're gonna, favorite. <laughs> we're gonna start with the feet uh, together, good posture. We're gonna step back with our right leg, Drop both knees to a 90 degree angle, one 1,000 hold, and then back up. Now left leg, step back, one 1,000 hold, back up. We're gonna do this one eight times on each leg, so right. 16 in total for you mathematicians out there. <laughs> Good posture, ready, let's do it. So again, you decide if you want the dumbbells on this one, or if you're good with just your own body weight. This one's really working that total lower body and your balance. Yeah, yep. <laughs> including your hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, calves. Working really, like I said, that whole lower body. I want you to breathe in on the way down and then exhale on the way up. That pause on the bottom, you shouldn't be resting the knee down. That knee should be hovering ideally about one inch above the floor. Thank you for the reminder. That's number 11, you have five more to go. And don't forget that one 1,000 pause. It adds that extra time under tension, forcing those muscles to contract, and makes it just that much more effective. Here's number 15, one more. Woo. All right, very good. Okay, so as I said, it's a, it is a superset. We're going back and forth between the two moves. So now we're going back to that dumbbell bent over row plus a twist. Yeah. You can use the same weight for this one, or you can mix up the weight. Really depends on you and your strength and how you're feeling right now. Oh man, those, it's a big muscle group, those legs. So I'm feeling a it little is. out of breath. Both of these are big muscle groups. Ooh. Take a couple big deep breaths here. We're gonna do 12 more rows. Adjusting the weight as you see fit, heavier or lighter. Okay. Bend over, 45 degree angle, palms facing us. And now let's pull back and twist. Excellent, 12 times in total. Pulling back from those elbows, like there's a string attached to those elbows. So 
Squeeze your back up at the top. Back stays straight. Shouldn't be rounded here. Again, it's a 45 degree angle, not all the way bent over. Big deep breaths. Do not hold your breath. Squeeze that back at the top. Every repetition, you got it. Two more, Tribe. There's 11 and 12. Nice. Woo. All right. Whew. Couple deep, big deep breaths here. If you're doing body weight, you can go ahead and move your dumbbells to the side. Yeah. So as our upper body's gonna rest, now our legs are gonna work. Again, you can see how the different movements complement one another. You decide here if you wanna go for dumbbells or just body weight. Mm -hmm. No two bodies are the same, so you're gonna have to make these decisions. What's best for you to push yourself today? And if you were having a little bit of a hard time with the reverse <laughs> lunges and keeping your balance, you can widen your base as you come back just a little bit. Or grab a chair or something too to help with your balance if That's you really true. need it. That's true, find a wall or something to kind of help you maintain that balance. All right, let's hit it on these reverse lunges. Starting with our right leg. Big in, step back. Both knees 90, one 1,000. Back up. Don't rush that pause every time. Again, will I know that you're rushing it? No, but you will. <laughs> Don't cheat yourself here. We want those results. I don't want to make it as easy as possible. We want to make sure we get the best results possible. And when you pair these two together with the dumbbells, you're also getting some extra grip work in. If you've been using dumbbells this whole time, you're noticing that. We'll call that extra credit, folks. Good posture, shoulders are back. Five more. That's right, trying to stay upright. Dropping that knee can. straight down. Two more. Almost there. Last one. One 1,000. And there it is. Nice. All right, beginning our second superset. The first move is a compound move mm -hmm. working multiple muscle groups. We are going to do a dumbbell push press plus a quarter squat. If you haven't done this move before, I recommend a lighter weight. You can always go up. Harder to uh, go down when you start too heavy than it is to go up. That's right. So I'm going to start light myself. We're going to start with two dumbbells, palms facing one another, dumbbells in a rack position here. At the same time, I'm going to drive these dumbbells straight up and I'm going to drop my hips in the opposite direction, straight down into a quarter squat and then return. So dropping that weight back into your hips, you're not doing a full squat all the way down. That's why we say quarter squat, a quarter of the way and repeat. We're doing this one for 10 repetitions in total. Big deep breath here. Dumbbells ready to go. Three, two, one. Drive overhead, drop the hips back. This one's also not only gonna test your strength, but your, uh, both your lower body, whoop, balance, <laughs> and your shoulder mobility all at the same time. And if you're like me, it's gonna test how well you can talk and exercise at the same time. <laughs> Which apparently is not too well, even after 10 years. I mean, it's a quarter squat, okay? So just do your best to not turn it into a full squat. Breathe, do not hold your breath. Last one. Ah, all right. Oh my That's gosh. That's gonna burn us out quick, folks. <laughs> all right, good news is we're gonna alternate this one with just an isolation exercise. Okay. A reverse curl. I'm actually gonna use the same weight me, on this one. Me too, I think. But again, up to you on where you wanna go. Elbows are gonna be in to our sides. Palms are facing down. Wrists are locked in. Curl all the way up, all the way down for 12 repetitions here. And three, two, one, let's hit it. This one's all about control, especially the way down. It's gonna be very tempting to allow the dumbbells to just flop back down and um, not control that lowering phase. I want you to fight that temptation. Because that eccentric phase of the exercise or yielding phase, it's actually where a lot of the work is done, 50% of the work. So we don't want to deprive ourselves of that work and miss out on those results. That's right, you're putting in the work. You want the results. That's it, I'm not here for, I'm not here for fun. For sure not. I'm here for those results. 
I want you to breathe out on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Two more. So inhaling on the way down. Exhaling. There it is as you bring them up. Last one here. And 12. There it is. Okay, okay feel I'm free, even if you're using the same weights, feel free to set them down for a second. Yes. We, we do have a break here. Um, depending on the move, we're shooting between 30 to 60 seconds rest. If you're used to doing a bunch of HIIT workouts, that's great, but when we're doing strength training, really for best results, your muscles need time to recoup in between sets for best results. So if you're like, hey, Coach Kozak, you're talking too much, just start working. Well, no, it's actually by design, and the science says that you have to take these rests in between. Yep. So we're trying to push the reps, push the weight for every move. So we need that rest time. But rest time's over. So <laughs> moving, moving into a dumbbell push press plus quarter squat here. Let's see if I can do this set without falling over. Mm -hmm. Elbows are in dumbbells in rack position 10 times. Ready. And begin. Sit back. Press up. Back down. Good. Try your best to finish with those biceps by your ears. Try not to fall backwards or forward. Again, just a quarter squat, sitting back, absorbing that weight with your hips. It's a dynamic move, so when you go to push it, you're pushing fast, you're dropping down fast. Ah, oh, two more, come on. Last one, here's 10. Ah, it's burning everything out oh on that Oh my goodness. One. If you can't tell, don't, we're feeling it too. Don't look at my face on those. We're going to pause her face and just do like a <laughs> screenshot of Somebody it. Somebody will do that. Put it on the, on the Instagram. Don't tag me. Okay, or the TikToks. Whew. All right, here we go, folks. We're going to do reverse curls next for 12 repetitions. Again, adjusting your weight if you need to, higher, lower, whatever it is. Make this workout work for you. Good posture. Palms are down, elbows are in. Ready. Begin. Control both ends. Control the way up. Control the way down. Did I mention you need to control? <laughs> we want that time under tension here. I'm doing strength training, muscle building. Really need those muscles to contract and spend more time under tension. Big deep breaths, breathe Halfway. in. Halfway. Last set of these, get these done. I know more of them. Every repetition getting adjusted that much stronger here. Close, number close. 10, two more. Last two. Come on, finish strong, Tribe. One Come more. On, stay facing down. And there's 12, you made it. All right, next up, we're gonna alternate a lower body and an upper body movement, getting started with a B stance hip up. I'm gonna grab one heavier dumbbell for this one. And I'm actually gonna do this with just my body weight. Moving so to you the have floor. the option, of course. Yeah, and moving to the floor on our backs. So a traditional hip up, we're gonna drive off of both feet. But with a B stance hip up, we're gonna have both feet on the floor, but one foot is gonna do the majority of the work. So I'm gonna take my right foot, I'm gonna bring it out onto my heel with my knee bent around a 30 degree angle. And now my left leg is gonna be the one that's gonna do the majority of the work with that left heel nice and close to my glute. Now with both legs, I'm gonna drive my hips up, squeeze my hips up at the top and then lower. So you are gonna get some work on that extended leg, but primarily try to make that uh, down leg do, the mo do most of the work. Yep. We're gonna do eight repetitions on each leg. Ready and begin. And as you can see, I'm using the dumbbell here for extra resistance. Well, Claudia just has her body weight. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. And if you start to feel like your quadriceps are doing the work, that big thigh muscle in front, then I wanna make sure that you're bringing that foot closer to your glutes. It means it's too far extended. Last one right here. Okay, now switch legs. So now my right leg is gonna come with my right foot flat. I'm gonna extend that left leg at a 30, about a 30 degree angle. And hey, same move, just opposite side. Ready and begin. Again, driving those hips 
straight up. Squeeze your glutes, your, your buttocks muscles up at the top. We're breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Three more. Working your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and abs all at the same time here. Last one right here. Excellent work. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. So there was our lower body exercise. Now we're moving into an upper body exercise. I'm gonna move this dumbbell to the side. I'm just gonna use my body weight for this one. And I'm actually going to use a bench. So remember we said in the beginning, if you have a bench, box, or a step, now would be the time to pull that out. We're going to do a diamond push-up. So diamond refers to the formation of my hands. My hands are gonna be like so, and it's gonna put extra emphasis on my triceps, big muscle in the back of my arm. I'm doing this one from the floor, which you could consider the harder version. And I'm gonna do mine from a bench. Remember, the higher the implement that it is that you're using, the easier the movement is going to be. We're gonna do this one for 10 repetitions. And a diamond push-up is harder than a normal push-up. So even if you're used to doing push-ups on the floor, consider the incline variation. So again, with that diamond shape in our hands, we're gonna lower our bodies to our elbows are at about a 90 degree, and then back up. It's gonna be 10 repetitions <clears throat> in total. Ready? And begin. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Now, you don't have to bury these to your chest all the way down to your hands on this one. Again, elbows to around a 90 degree, and then back up. Make sure you're moving your upper body up and down and not just bobble in your head, I call it a chicken head. So don't reach with your head, but lower that whole body together, keeping your back and abs tight and straight. Breathing in. Last one right here, number 10. Breathing out. And there's 10. Oh my goodness. Those are tough, no bones about it. Nice I mean, work, Claudia. you can definitely feel it in the triceps. It's working, that's it's what working. she's saying. Yes. All right, so we are gonna move back to those hip ups. And again, you decide if you want to use weight on uh, on those B-stance hip-ups or just body weight. Totally up to you. Have I ever mentioned good? how much I don't like push-ups of any um, sort? I think that's come up. If you guys of have any been variation? around for a while. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but her husband just keeps putting him in the workouts oh no matter gosh. what. It's like I can't listen, folks, you know? I know. I mean, I have gotten better over the years, but... <laughs> <laughs> takes a long time. Don't get discouraged, <laughs> it takes folks. takes a long time. It's a long time. You're not alone. All right, back on our backs. So again, I'm gonna take that right leg. I'm gonna extend it to about a 30 degree angle. So my hips are coming straight up. Ready and begin. You are using that dumbbell, sitting in your lower abs, right along your waistline. Drive those hips up. Squeeze that glute up at the top. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. So important to have strong glutes. It's great for a healthy back. Um, it's great just for overall lower body strength. Last one right here. There's eight, switching sides. Right, people think it's mostly for aesthetics. It is not just for looks. It's definitely not. Definitely for just maintaining wonderful function in your lower body. And begin, opposite side. But hey, the aesthetics don't hurt, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's nice having a nice backside, but that's the added benefit, not the main reason. Right. Nice and controlled on the way down. Don't just allow your backside to flop down. But control both ends of the movement. We have two more. Seven. And eight. Excellent work. Oh, nice work. Okay. So we can move on to our second set of push-ups here. A couple of dip, big deep breaths as we transition between the exercises. And so we showed you how to make it easier. If you did that first set with me on the floor and you wanna make it harder, you can actually do what's called an elevated push-up. Put your feet up on something and make it a little tougher, up to you. Claudia's gonna give that one a go a little later. <laughs> I'm just teasing my wife. Okay, folks, diamond position, 10 repetitions in total. Abs are tight. Ready and begin. Elbows to a 90 degree angle and then back up. A lot of work on those triceps on this one. You're not imagining it. 
Breathing in. Halfway breathing point. Out. We don't want your butt way up in the air. We don't want it sinking. Abs and back stay tight and straight. Two more. There we go. Inhale. Exhale. You did it. <laughs> Kicking off our next superset with a challenging core exercise. This is called an ab fall out. Mm. I'm going to start this one from my feet in a standing position. And I'm actually going to start this one from my knees. So I'm going to come out, walk out into a push-up position with my uh, feet down. And I'm in the push-up position from my knees. So notice that my wrists are directly beneath my shoulders. Now our hand movements can be the same. We're both going to walk out, extending as far as we can, and then walk back. So it's gonna look a little bit different for everybody depending on your fitness level. But walking out as far as you can while keeping that back straight without your hips sinking and without your butt up in the air. We're gonna do this one for 30 seconds. So it's a time to move, folks. Doing as best that you can in that 30 second time period. Here we go. And three, two, one, begin. Do not hold your breath on this one. Again, challenging yourself to walk out and then return back to those hands under your chest. Core stays tight and engaged throughout. Doing the best that you can. It's a tough one, even for us. Definitely one that you get better with with time. In three, two, one, time. Ah, all right, take a big deep breath here because definitely one that's hard to keep your breathing Ooh. going during. Yes. We are going to stand up to our feet for the next one, and we need two lighter dumbbells. This is going to be a dumbbell front raise, or a front trap raise, often called. And when we say light, we mean light. We mean light. <laughs> you can always get heavier. Again, don't forget. Right. So feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to bend over on that 45 degree angle. Palms are facing us. Now we're going to bring our dumbbells straight up and return back down again. Not swinging on this one. That's what makes it more of a challenge. That's why we need a lighter weight. Again, bringing our biceps by our ears. For 10 reps. Here we go, folks. Ready and begin. Up and control the way down. Again, I know I've said it about 100 times a day, but this one in particular would be much easier if you just allowed the waist to flop back down, but really control that lowering phase and your trap muscles are those big back muscles up by your neck and your upper back. Really focusing on those as well as your rear deltoids. Two and, more. And your rhomboids all getting hit here. Ooh, yeah. One more. Last one. Ah. Oh my goodness. All right. I think it's working, folks. Man, a lot of back work today. Hey, a lot of everything work. Ooh, Again, ooh. when we say full body, we mean full body. It's all getting hit today. Man. All right, so preparing ourselves for that next set of ab fallouts. Again, if you start it up and you need to move to your knees or vice versa, I encourage you to do so. It's only 30 seconds. Let's do the best that we can. That's it, pushing yourself because nobody else can do it for you. Ready and Begin. Focusing on breathing, no breath holding. Try not to let your butt come up into the air and don't let your hips sink either. That's it. You got it, folks. Focusing on what your why is, what brought you here today. That's what's gonna get you through to the end. What are you working towards? Come on, not much left. Right to the end, you In got it, five. come on. Four, three, two, one, and break. Ooh, burn so good. Show ah, off. Nice He's work, guys. Such a All show right. off. We need two dumbbells. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for that later. <laughs> Front trap raise. Go light. Oh, uh, this one. I'm debating. This one doesn't take much. I'm debating. Uh, debating how light, how heavy? Well, oh, you, you three, ramped well, I did, I did three the last time, but Okay, I'm, now you're going a little heavier. We'll cool, see. cool. You decide what's right for you, folks. We have 10 repetitions here. Bend over 45. Ready? And begin. 
palms facing down. Control, control, control. Also going to test that mobility, making sure you get up there high enough. Breathe. You got it. Come on now. What are you working towards? What is it? Focus on it. When Three it gets, more. When the workout gets tough, you got to kick that mental toughness up. Last one right here. Come on. Ah, nice work. Nice work. Nice work, Claudia. Nice work to you out there, HasFit Tribe. I'm feeling pumped. Yeah, I'm who says you can't break a sweat doing strength training? I'm perspiring. And oh even Claudia's got a little glow going Look here. Look at that. And she doesn't usually have anything going. She can do like a 45-minute hit and be dry as a bone. Is it the workout or the temperature in here? I don't Maybe know. Maybe a little bit of both. Yeah, you know, for sure. Column A, column B. Hey, we have a cool down, folks. So hard part's done. Let's do a little restoration work for our bodies. We're gonna to move to the floor onto one knee. This is a kneeling hip flexor stretch. I'm gonna start by flexing or contracting my glutes, my backside, and contracting my abs. Now, I'm going to gently come forward, keeping both of these flexed, contracted. And when you do that, it doesn't take much range of motion to start feeling that stretch in your quadricep, that big thigh muscle, as well as your hip flexor. Just keeping them both squeezed. Coming forward and just holding here. A lot of good work on our quadriceps as well as our hip flexors today. Could give them some love. That's right. And relax. Same move, opposite side now. Again, the setup is everything on this move. Tight glutes, tight abs. Then you can come forward. A lot of times you see people, you know, they won't do that and then they'll just come forward and they're all like this and nothing's really getting stretched. It doesn't take much range of motion if you squeeze those two body parts first. Whew, my left side is definitely tighter than my right today. Oh yeah. Pretty common, have one side a little tighter than the other. Don't be alarmed if that's the case with you. And relax. All right, moving to our back sides here. We're going to do a toe touch to chest opener. A little combination cool down move here for you. Legs are out straight in front of you. We're gonna start with that toe touch, but for you, it might look like an ankle touch or a knee touch. Reaching as far as you can, head down, chin tucked, and then come up, bring those elbows back at 90 degree angle. Stretch like somebody's pulling those arms back away from your body. And repeat, dive down into that toe, ankle, knee touch, chin touch, whatever. And then come back. Again, like somebody's pulling back on those shoulders and arms. Back and forth in a controlled manner here. Getting some stretching in our calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders, chest. All in one move here. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ah, feels good. All right. Let's give our hips some love here with a lying figure four. We're gonna lie down on our backs <sighs> and take a Taking it? No, lying figure four, <laughs> that was it. All right, I'm gonna take my right foot, I'm gonna bring it up onto my left knee, and now I'm gonna reach through my legs and grab the back of my left leg. If you can't reach, grab a towel or a band for this one. And now we're gonna pull that leg to you so it's primarily that right leg that right hip that's going to feel a stretch that glute and that hip definitely right here in this area oh yeah pulling away there just a static Ooh. stretch so we're holding here for five four three two one zero all right switch it up right leg down Left leg on top, again, reaching through to the back of that right leg, and now pull it to you. Big deep breaths here. Again, those hips, that hip mobility is such a underlooked thing. You know, it's just, so many people have lower back pain and challenges, and a lot of times it really is just the hip tightness. So if you're feeling some major hip tightness here, that's something you may want to address regularly. Big deep breaths. And we have great videos for that as well. We do. do we not? That. That's a good plug. We That's do. We have plenty plug. of good See what videos I did for there? that. Yep. Three, two, one, zero. And that is it, folks. You made it to the end. 
Thank you so much for working out with us today. Hey, we're pretty smart. We know you have a lot of options out there. So the fact that you came and decided to spend this time with us and work out with us today means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And we're so passionate about making sure you get the best results for your time. That's why we've assembled all of these full length fitness programs. That's right. Those programs can be found on our app, which can be downloaded to your Android or Apple device, or you can go to our website, hasfit.com. You can also support us by stopping by our store, picking up some HasFit gear, like my old sweaty t-shirts. <laughs> I mean a clean t-shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. If you want to come back for some more dad jokes and some more exercise, we'd be happy to see you next time. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we'll see you at your next workout.